All right, so we are gonna get going on the Alex Steel knife. Now, one of the issues that I have is that my tooling is not up to snuff, it's not up to par. One of the problems I have is with my slitting saw, and this is the saw that you use to cut in the lock bar. The slitting saw I have is this style, and basically you've got this mandrel for it, and this is like a multi-saw mandrel, absolute trash. What it is, is basically this piece right here, it's stepped, those are all spring loaded and so the idea being that you could use different size slitting saws with it, pick the one you want and then this cap goes over top, tightens everything down. Major issues with this, uh, the biggest one is that it doesn't keep this slitting saw centered properly so when you're cutting it's like and you're only on, cutting on just a small percentage of your teeth, that's not going to work very well so I need to make a new mandrel. Now what I've got here is a piece of hex stock and I'm hoping this is mild steel because my lathe is a piece of HUD. Like this is, this is junky lathe, very light duty and if it's hardened steel this thing just does not enjoy it in any way shape or form, doesn't cut it properly. What I'm hoping is that I can use the mild steel, make myself a proper mandrel and once we get that done then we'll kind of be a little bit more uh, tooled up to build this knife so let's go ahead and see if we can't make a mandrel real quick It is actually the next day and while I was parting off some of those pieces um, my lathe was chattering really really badly and I went to just make a couple of adjustments and then I realized you know what this is filthy and I really need to just give it a little one to go over a roux. I've gone ahead and taken it apart I'm just cleaning everything up here and then uh, we'll get it all put back together and then continue uh, making our little uh, well this little thing right here. We got the lathe back together and it's still not doing so well. I really need to get a better parting tool. Busted my other ones and I don't have any inserts, the ones with the carbide inserts. I don't have any inserts so this is what I'm using. I made this one. I'm gonna give it a try. So what the plan is, is I'd like to part this off roughly in the middle and then I'm gonna turn a shoulder on there that will hold the slitting saw and then I'll turn a recess on this piece where it can kind of come down and clamp and then we'll drill this out 
and then we'll tap this out so that we can run a bolt through there and basically this will be two pieces that will come and sandwich the slitting saw. That's the plan. We're going to see if we can make it work with this, uh, this wonderful junky tool setup. Okay, so here is our little part. Uh, we've got this step machined in here and that will accept the, the blades. So it fits really nicely there. We've got a nice snug fit. I don't know if there's any play. I mean, it's about as, as close as you could get without it binding at all. And then I've tapped that out and then here's our little cap. We've machined this little step, this little recess in here. And so it's actually a really nice fit on here. I didn't mean it to be this precise, but it worked out really well. The only thing I really need here is this this outer diameter here, and that's that's where your clamping action that's that's what clamps onto the blade. So you stick one of your blades in here like this, and then we'll put this cap on, and then we've countersunk this part of it, and it's really as simple as this. Oh, where's my wrench? And I just put this in into the drill chuck to tighten it up. I could machine flats on here. Uh, that way I could use a wrench and tighten it like that, but I'm just going to I'm just going to put it in the drill and tighten it up that way, but See if it works Well, I'm really happy with the way this thing cuts. It is much more centered. It just cuts so much better than the other, uh, where is that piece of junk? This thing right here. Uh, these ones are supposed to be for like different diameter slitting saws. They're kind of spring loaded. So whichever one you're using, you know, the rest of them will kind of fold away. These things are garbage, probably 30 or 40 thou run out. And then this was the cap that they had that went onto there. Also, uh, this one's the one that I made is quite a bit narrower. I didn't want to go too narrow because I still want it to be fairly robust. But that way, I can get closer when we're cutting, uh, you know, the slot for a lock bar. We can get close to the material. But uh, yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy. This is one one of the pieces of the puzzle to get going on that friction folder. Sorry, not friction folder. The uh, the frame lock folder. Pretty excited to have this done. Just 
just finishing up the edit on this video and uh, I want to take a minute to kind of explain how this build is going to go. And then first of all, let me start by saying I do sincerely apologize for taking so long to get around to finally starting on this. Now, when Alec had first sent me the steel, uh, you know, he made it in his video and he shipped it right then, but it was held in Canada Customs for about a month and a half. So I didn't get the steel right away. And in a certain sense, that, that kind of took the wind out of my sails. I mean, when I finished the little frame lock, that's a friction folder here. I mean, I was just jacked to do a frame lock. I was so excited, but I didn't get that steel right away. And I was like, yeah. To compound that, um, you know, we were finishing our house build and I didn't build the house, but I was fairly involved with some of the steps, like all the kitchen cabinets, the entire thing, I did that. All the bathroom cabinets, I did that. A lot of the lighting fixtures and all that stuff. And so that kept me really, really busy. And then obviously after that was done, we had to move into our house and yada, yada, yada. So I've been super, super busy with other stuff. It's a very busy time in our lives right now, but that's no excuse. I mean, I've had ample opportunity to get this project started and finished. So I take full responsibility for not getting to this yet. I do apologize, um, but we're just gonna get on it. Now, one of the reasons uh, that I wasn't rushing into it as well, like it's kind of one of these things where I've, I've had pretty like a, kind of a mopey attitude about it. You know, in life, if you wanna do something, you need to start. It's kind of like saying, you know what, I'm gonna to drive to Houston right now, but I'm not gonna start until I see that every single light on my route is green. Like, like I'm gonna wait for all green lights and then I'm gonna start my trip. That's not how it works, right? You just start going. You might come up to red lights, you might come up to obstacles, you figure those out as you get there, but you just start going. So that's what we're doing with this. Now, we got our sliding saw done, which is awesome, really jacked about that. And then in watching all of Mike's videos, you know, Ecom Knives, Mike, uh, great YouTube channel, by the way, I'll put a link in the description below. But anyways, he's got his frame lock, his full, uh, yeah, he's got his frame lock series, and man, it's such a complicated process. It looks like a major project. And in watching his videos, I realized there's a lot of tooling that I don't have, um, but I'm gonna see if I can adapt stuff that I do have to work. And if not, I mean, I'm just gonna have to, you know, pause and, and order the stuff and then bring it in and then continue. So. This build is not gonna be like, hey, let's take this entire week and build this. Uh, I can't do that. I mean, I, I make knives for a living full time. YouTube, uh, it's an awesome hobby, but it certainly doesn't allow me to just, you know, escape the realities of life and be like, hey, let's just do videos. So uh, we're gonna kind of just start chipping away at this little project. and. Um, there's also gonna be a lot of other content coming out in between. Uh, I'm gonna do some experimenting. It's not like it's not like I'm gonna be working on other stuff. Everything that comes out in between, most of it, like all the knife builds and stuff, they're all gonna be stuff that I'm going to sell to make money, to earn a living. And so uh, this is purely for me. So I'm not entirely sure how long this is gonna take, but we're just gonna start. Now, as far as the design goes, I, I really haven't done anything. This is the sketch I'm gonna be basing it off of. That's what I've got so far. So this is kind of what the knife is gonna look like. Obviously I need to do some more detailed drawings than this, but at least we've got kind of general concept down and uh, you know what, we're just gonna start going. We're just gonna start heading down the road. Uh, if we come up to red lights and obstacles, yellow lights, whatever, we'll deal with those things as they come, but we just need to get going. So that's the plan. I'm really excited about this and I do sincerely appreciate your patience, guys. Thank you so much. Also, uh, if you'd like to follow along on Instagram, I put a lot of, uh, stuff into my Instagram stories and, and all that stuff there as well. So you can kind of get a little bit of a sneak peek of what I'm working on. And then also so far, I'm hoping I can continue to do it. So far I've been able to respond and get back to 100% of the people that have reached out to me on Instagram. So if you'd like to follow along there, uh, simplelife.ca is my Instagram name. Lots of fun stuff there as well, but I'm gonna be experimenting with the content on this channel for a bit and we're just gonna see what happens. But uh, may as well, right? Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, uh, please consider doing so. And I thank you so much for watching. That is by far the best way you can support your favorite creators is just to watch their stuff. So thank you very much. Cheers.